up guys, it's Sarah Chloe. Today we are reacting to the other ghost hunters on YouTube, BuzzFeed Unsolved. Da, da, da. Here we go, reacting to BuzzFeed's version of the demonic Goatman's Bridge. We went in 2022, they went in 2017. Five years later, let's see if we got less scary or more scary over the years. I never thought the first time I would ever use a Ouija board would be here. On a demon bridge. On a demon bridge. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the worst place. What's your name? Are you moving it there? I'm not moving it. <laughs> it goes to Steve. I'm gonna fuck you. Steve! No! Oh, Steve! Not Steve. The KKK member. Your hands are shaking. I know, because I'm like, why is this moving? Hey, you demon fuck. <laughs> Wait, <Jesus> what? <laughs> Dropped all the decorum, didn't you? Holy shit. Yo, he goes too hard. Oh my god. Well, we have an S. If you can't spell your name, then this bridge is officially mine. Oh, this is where they got the Shane bridge. This is my bridge. For a second there, I thought I was going towards G, but now it looks like it's F. All right, this is your last chance, demon. If you don't tell us your name, then it's gonna be Shane's bridge. You know what, fuck it, throw myself in there. If you don't tell us your name, it's me and Shane's bridge. It's our bridge now. Oh, yeah, he got confident now. Well, my bridge. Ouija boards we got, we got. suck. Oh my god. That's how it happened? Literally every single one of them like watching were just like, it's Shane and Ryan's bridge. We were like, what does this mean? Yeah, like, I don't understand. Mean? They went one time, whatever. And now I understand. They claimed it as their own. But so, holy shit, I feel like Shane doesn't care at all. He doesn't care at all. He's like trying to provoke these things. Hear me out. I think if you take it seriously, the spirits will be like more inclined to actually talk to you. Oh, for but, sure. That's what we've like learned with like paranormal investigating for so long. It's like, they can tell when you're like taking it seriously in the vibe. Yeah, and also things. the people that believe and like, you know, put themselves open to experiences, they have the experience. You'll see more. I feel like Shane's very closed off. He's like, ah, whatever, this isn't real at all. G O O D B Y E. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sayonara. As we snuff these candles, so too do we snuff you from this mortal world. Holy oh, shit. You fucking wimp. Oh my yeah. god! It's funny, but like there's so many people like now that we've been in the paranormal world for a while now that would get so offended at that. Like imagine if we did that instead of actually investigating. Cause no. sometimes even when we have videos where we make too many jokes, like we'll still get comments like, you guys are taking this seriously. We definitely want to have a good time, but we also want to catch evidence. Exactly. I feel like these guys are like, they want to have a good time and they just want to put on a show. Like we said, comedians in a haunted place. But yeah. nonetheless, funny videos. It's, it's hilarious. The story of an exorcism. September, 1973 in a neurological visit with Dr. Luthi, Annalise described horrific visions of demon faces that were tormenting her. Oh! It stated that she felt the devil was inside her. She also reported smelling something that had the aroma of burnt feces, a stench that many around her would report smelling at later times. Did you ever smell that while she was in there? I mean, oftentimes I would. You would smell just like shit. Oh. Yeah, I think I smelled like <laughs> shit for six weeks, nonstop. I don't know if it was a demon or I just didn't take a shower. Why do all these people know what burnt feces smells like? Well, I can imagine it just smells like Species like with a little, on fire? a little, a little smokier. What? Have you ever let shit on fire? Is poop flammable? No, you know, like the olden days prank where you shit in a bag and you light the bag of shit on fire and you put it on someone's doorstep. Poop dollar. Poop dollar. <laughs> you remember that? What? Anybody out there knows what poop dollar is? Annalise's extremely odd behavior worsened. She barely slept and prayed fervently all night. She ate spiders and flies, uh. and even licked her own urine up from the floor. What Whoa. the fuck? So she was possessed. Crucifixes and holy pictures on the walls. Annalise also exhibited strength that was, quote, close to superhuman, throwing her sister, quote, as if she were a rag doll, and incredibly was observed effortlessly squeezing an apple with one hand until, quote, <laughs> fragments exploded throughout the room. Yo! That's freaking sick. I feel like I could do that. There's no way. See? You had to add the, your own side effects. See, there's no fucking way. Wait for it. You're full of shit, Ryan. Right? We're gone. A priest named Father Rodewick, a man considered an expert on exorcisms by his peers. <laughs> by his peers. His friends are like, yeah, that guy's an expert. Reported that he was convinced that Annalise was possessed. An exorcism on Annalise was formally approved. I just did have to. Oh, I hate these types of clips. Oh, God. I just saw that he did them five Yo, this is like as 
bad as like the Conjuring movies. And they were all like really bad people. Yes. Every single one. The blonde man from Die Hard is also in here. Yo, what is up with these guys? I feel like it'd be funny to do a video with them. That would be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. Annalise refused to eat. He described it as, quote, not being permitted to eat. Oh yeah, my just God. Just the man frail, likely weighing under 80 pounds, she exhibited great strength when people tried to restrain her. On June 30th, Annalise had another exorcism, only saying please. She oh also God. refused a doctor. The next morning, her family went to her room and found her dead. Oh, it killed her? Exorcism killed her? Wait, why is this not like bigger news? I feel like that should be huge news. I, everyone has always told me no one's ever died from paranormal. There was a demon inside of her that wouldn't let her eat or anything. That is a death through paranormal. Like what? Everything that I knew about scary shit is now like flipped on its head. That makes me terrified to go to any more that makes me really want to get things out of my head. She died of starvation at the age of 23 after 67 exorcisms. 67? What? She died of starvation and she wouldn't eat because of this demon. That's terrifying. It's scary. Yo, guys, let us know where this place is and if you guys want to see us there. Wherever this place is, we gotta go. After her death, Annalise's parents and the two priests were accused of negligent homicide, and the case went to trial in 1978. What? They got blamed. You knew she was starving, and you didn't do anything about like the starving thing. You didn't bring her to a hospital or something. I literally would just tell the cops or whoever. I'd be like, Why don't you try to fake her? Come on, bite yeah. your hand. <laughs> Waverly Hills. Oh, I love this. Waverly. Place. The look of this building is so imposing. I'm surprised you're conscious right now. I'm keeping it together for now. There's a good chance tonight is the night you see me die on camera. This place is huge, too. One of my favorite paranormal places ever, though. I'm gonna bounce my ball. See, it's a bouncy ball. Yo, this is the same area that we had the rim pod go off crazily. Yes! Why right so? Timmy's hallway is right where they're about to have activity, and that was the craziest part of the night for our Waverly Hills video. Timmy loves to play with balls. Wanna play? You wanna play? Why are you sound threatening like you? you wanna play? Let's fucking play! Let's fucking play ball! <laughs> I'm very scared, but if you could throw this ball back, I won't be as scared. Oh my god, that's the biggest lie I've ever heard. Oh, imagine if this rolls back. Please god, don't do it, don't do it. Uh. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It sounded like it stopped and then it bounced a little more. No way. There's no way. Yeah. It stops and then goes again. It bounces two more times. Yeah, Holy weird. shit. I thought it was gonna come back. I was like, oh god. Let's walk down and find the ball. All right, Timmy, we're coming to get the ball. I don't know where it went. No way. His name? Oh Holy my god. Shit. Yo! That's a weird coincidence. They stop right on their own names. Wow. Oh, the ball stopped here. How the fuck right, is that the possible? The that is actually weird. really yeah. strange. Possible. Oh no. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already because videos are getting better and better. <laughs>